Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and welcome to this week's edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Dalen, and we are here broadcasting live from the Think Tech Studios in Pioneer Plaza in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we're at www.thinktechhawaii.com. And you may also subscribe to our programs and get on our mailing list at that site as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you stories of local people, local businesses by local people. Our guests share with us how they were able to build successes in our challenging business environment. In the Think Tech studios with us today is Max Sai, president and owner of TC Kokua, located in Kihei, Maui. Max, thank you so much for joining us today and making the trip to Oahu and fighting the, the Honolulu traffic that I know you were a little nervous about. Um, but we're very happy to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me on the show. Great to be here. Um, so many things to talk about. Um, TC Kukua, how you got started, the numerous recognition um, that you, you do receive for the business that you built. So why don't we start at the beginning and tell us how you got started? Wow, this actually started back when I was in college um, with my ex-business partner who were, were roommates, friends, and uh, we got a little tired of the poor customer service you get from oh, all these different service providers, you know, and we want to change that. So we basically went on, um, pursued our degrees. I had an engineering degree. He was in finance. Um, so afterwards, we did our um, work in Silicon Valley. And 18 years ago, we decided to pursue our idea from college, which was how to improve the customer service experience um, so that your customers, your clients feel special. And we looked at, uh, obviously, call centers. Um, and Maui, or Hawaii, became the top location for us. Um, Aloha Spirit. And when you have majority population in the sort of service industry, um, tax credits, just everything about starting a small business here in Hawaii makes total sense. And that's how we started. So how did you pick Maui? Oh, good question. Um, actually, we started at the Maui Research and Technology Park. Um, we're one of the... Uh, uh, part of the incubator program, and I guess you can call us a success story. Absolutely. I think it's, it's so wonderful that we do have opportunities in Hawaii um, with, with Maui Tech and in, in on Oahu, we have something very similar that, right. to foster uh, the, the, the startup of, of businesses, incubator businesses like, like yours. Um, so along the way, uh, what year was it that you opened TC Kukul? 2000. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I thought it was 2003. No. We, we started putting it into uh, the whole thing in the works. 2000 officially actually opened our doors at the MRTC um, because we had to go through the whole application process and so forth uh, in June 1st, 2001. Wow. Well, congratulations. I mean, thank you. You've been in business 18 years now. Yes. <laughs> Your baby's all grown up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ready to fly away. <laughs> so I, I know that um, you've also moved your business a couple of times in right. Maui. Right. Um, my guess is that that was because of expansion. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, as you people aware, MRTC, Research Technology Center, uh, is an incubator program, and as part of that, uh, we are supposed to graduate as, when we achieve certain point of, uh, you know, success. Um, so we did, 
and um, we found a location just uh, Mackay, ocean side of uh, MRTC, and um, was there for a few years, and then finally, due to uh, growing needs, I've uh, actually purchased uh, our own office space in North Kihei, uh, Maui. <laughs> so it's served us very well there. How did you find MRTC? How, how did you find that that was going to be the avenue that you were going to get started? That's a very good question. Um, you know, when we did the research um, prior, um, we looked at other locations. Obviously, I was always interested in um, Pacific Northwest. We thought about going and from California, of course, going more um, easterly, like Arizona, Colorado, and of course, West, because I was, who's, who doesn't love Hawaii, right? I've been here many times on vacation, and I started doing research and, you know, incubator, startup uh, programs, and MRTC came up, and believe it or not, originally I was gonna move to Oahu, and the secret is, I did spend about three weeks, end of 1999, right here on Oahu, I trying to get settled. And um, I obviously uh, was overwhelmed with the- uh, Traffic? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, and my whole thing is I didn't want to move from one busy San Francisco Bay Area to another busy place mm -hmm. um, with nicer weather and beaches. <laughs> so, and MRTC came into play and Maui was, was perfect choice for us. So did they help you build your business from, from scratch, from business plan to? Not so much on the business plan. So they offer support mainly uh, very favorable rental rates and space in the tech park. Uh, infrastructure, as you know, we have a lot of connectivity, high speed fiber that runs underneath the ocean here. Um, and so we took advantage of that. That was very nice. Um, and just the support of the people there. And a couple of my, uh, uh, I, I guess, early clients were actually from the tech park. And I can talk about it too if you want. So at what point do you have to graduate from <laughs> MRTC? <laughs> I think it was more of a mutual thing, yep. you know, um, because MRTC is the uh, sister campus, I guess, um, uh, to the Manoa Man Innovation, mm -hmm. Innovation Center. So HTDC was running the show at the time. So it was became a time where I guess my stay was due to expire. So, you know, that's what happened. Did you feel ready at that point? You know, I felt so. I, th I, th I think so, too. I felt it was the right time. Um, it was a good opportunity for us to move on and to expand. Um, and the tech park at that time was changing, too, as you know. So, so at that point, was it just you and your, your then partner? The business? Mm -hmm. Oh, we had a staff, too. How many? How many did you start oh with? Oh my gosh. Well, we started with two. Right. <laughs> Just me and my ex-business partner. Um, and then we uh, slowly built the company up. We started with a couple employees. Then we grew to five. And then um, I think when we left the tech park, we had about 10 employees. Wow. And today? Today, um, well, we got to almost 30 employees. At Very one time. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. So the spot that you're in now, is that in Kihei? Yes, North Kihei. Very mm -hmm. convenient. I picked that location because it's, um, as most of you know, Maui is kind of spread out. Mm -hmm. um, so North Kihei is very central mm -hmm. for, uh, for everyone, especially for my staff who uh, I've some of them live up country. Um, Maui, mm -hmm. so commute, it's very convenient, and some of them live South Maui and Central Maui, so very central, not just for our staff, but our clients too, as well. We're 15 minutes from Kauai Airport. Mm -hmm. TC Kokua has survived through some of the most difficult times, business yes. periods for small business in Hawaii. Yeah. Tell me about the, the, sh 
the struggle, the challenges? Yeah, well, as you all know, um, we opened, I mentioned, June 1st, 2001. So three months after that, we had 9-11. Mm -hmm. And that was very much a struggle because at that time we had, I'd say, a number of clients. There was three of them that were ready to sign with us. And that whole 9-11 thing kind of put everything on hold. So that was the first one, economic downturn. And then we also had one, uh, another one, um, early 2000 as well. Uh, so we're survivors. I'm sure there are a lot of viewers who are thinking about starting a business or perhaps already did or in, are in the infancy stages. Um, what kind of advice would you give them? I mean, you you started up your business three months before 9-11. Yes. I mean, there had to be a part of you that thought, oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Well, my number one advice is don't ever give up. Don't let go of your dreams. Um, believe in your what you intend to do, your vision, your dreams. So that's the best advice and it's, it serves us well. Along the way, TC Kokua has gotten quite a bit of recognition. Um, Max, I'm sure it's, it's because of your leadership and your perseverance you. um, through those difficult times and of course running a, a wonderful business your, with your employees being very satisfied. Let's talk about some of those accolades because they certainly are notable. Um, the first one was the PBN Top 40 Under 40, and I think we have a picture of you in this one. Here you're accepting yeah. the award. Tell us about the award. Oh, it's very, it's very much an honor to receive that award. Um, yeah, I was, I, was, I was under 40 at that time. <laughs> Look pretty That young, was yesterday, but... right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so it was good. I had some uh, wonderful support and to be recognized from an outer island, that was a big deal too. Yeah. Um, there are a couple uh, other recognitions that you received, and that was the Sm um, Small Business Association Small Business Person of the Year, Maui County, and we've got a picture of that. Yep. And I think we have a picture of you accepting the award, right? Yeah. That was actually at an uh, event, celebration event uh, at Chamber of Commerce. Yes, and that was a very much honor because I was uh, with some of the most uh, recognized businesses in Hawaii, um, in Maui for sure. And to be part of that, it was, it was truly an honor. And, um, um, I can't say enough about it, you know. When we come back, we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, let's talk about some of the other things that you're doing in the community, and let's talk about TC Kokua and how you filled a gap in Hawaii and, and what you saw that, that opportunity to be. We are going to take that short break. This is Business in Hawaii, and we'll see you back here shortly. Aloha, I'm Jay Fardell, founder of Think Tech Hawaii. And I'm Andrea Gabrielli, the host for Young Talents Making Way. Wait a minute, this is not a new, a new episode, is it, Jay? No, it's not a new episode. Um, you know, that show is over, Andrea. So uh, what are you going to do now? Hmm, why don't we have a summer edition of Young Talents Making Way, where we focus more on education as a mean for our young talents to max out becomes role models and achieve their dreams. What a great idea. So when do you want to begin, Andrea? July the 3rd, 2018, Tuesday at 11 a.m. Young Talents Making Way, Summer Edition. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert. And we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m. and we hope we'll see you next time.
Welcome back, this is Business in Hawaii, and today I am honored to have Max Sai of TC Kakua with us in the studio today. Max, I wanna talk about your leadership attributes. You know, because TC Kakua has been in existence um, for so long, <laughs> because you started it when you were three. <laughs> of course. Um, but it takes a great leader uh, to have businesses be sustained, especially in a challenging environment. We talked about 9-11 and how you weathered the storm. Um, and I know that one of your passions is giving back. Um, we do have a picture of Max at a Maui United Way um, event where he was board chair. And I know that this is just one of the small ways in which you surround yourself in the community by helping the community, supporting community, and giving back. Tell us about some of the things that are important to you and, and how, how that makes you a good leader. Oh, thank you. I, mean, um, I live with the belief to always give more than what you take or live in the gratitude of, uh, attitude of gratitude. Um, giving back is one of my true passions. Um, I was very fortunate, and that's kind of going back to the question uh, we talked about why Maui, right? Why Hawaii? Well, coming from a big place, San Francisco Bay Area, I've traveled the world when I used to be in high tech. Um, it, it, it really makes a huge difference when you're in a smaller community where everything we do can have a profound effect. You can make a difference. And I'm, I'm really grateful and blessed to have a successful business and everything I was able to accomplish on the business front. And it only makes sense to be able to give back to the community and to serve a purpose and to, you know, to be a true leader. You know, it's not about just making your business successful, but what you can do for the rest of the community, um, help each other out. And, and that's actually a seg way to what my business does, TC Kukua too, because we believe we can help bring the community together, have service the local businesses, and as well, even the uh, mainland companies too. That's what we've done. I know that you're involved in quite a few things. Um, you wanna share with us oh, some gosh. of the ways that your volunteerism uh, has touched the lives of many? Well, thank you. I don't like to talk too much about myself here. <laughs> it's not about the accolades either, um, but I've served on a number of boards, uh, nonprofits, chaired a lot of them. I have served on multiple commissions for Maui County, uh, namely uh, Salary Commission, the Planning Commission, I was, both of which were, I was the chair, and then also, uh, most recent, I was on the Police Commission also. Wow. Wow, I don't know where you find the time. <laughs> you make time. <laughs> um, early last year, Hawaii Business Magazine did a beautiful piece on you, and I know that um, you, you have a printout of that article, but they basically talked about how you started and um, right out of college. And yeah. tell, tell us about that article, and how did that come about? Yeah, um, it was actually a surprise because I got a call from Jackie, Jackie Young. Um, she says, well, she was referred to me by a colleague um, and she wants to do an article on us. And I said, okay. <laughs> so, and it was very, very nice. Uh, she did a great job. Thank you, Jackie. Let's talk about TC Kakua. Tell me about the business. Let's, let's, let's talk about what you do and the services you provide. Absolutely. Well, TC Kakua is a, an all-sourced support center, customer service call center. When you say call center, is that for a specific type of business or? Well, no, actually we service every type of industry pretty much uh, y you can imagine. Um, any business, anyone who needs any type of customer interaction, customer service support, 
we've done it. Uh, we've done tech support for local businesses. Uh, we've done uh, even airlines. We used to provide the call center services for Mukulele Airlines, a uh, local cell phone service provider, Mobi PCS used us. We had um, work with um, Hawaii Department of uh, Human Services for their um, crest enrollment plan. Um, there's some things we did for even for uh, back then, Spectrum before it was Oceanic. We did some stuff for their uh, Kupa KZ loyalty program. Uh, most of our, a lot of our work right now is in hospitality, tourism related, um, charter boats, zip lines, horseback riding, luau's. Um, it's a it's a perfect fit, and what's unique about sorry no. about our service is that you all know we live in middle of nowhere, and there's a very unique culture here in Hawaii, and it really boggles my mind why certain businesses would want to outsource to somewhere outside of Hawaii when your customer base or you want to portray the aloha, the Hawaii, and that's what we can provide, you know, a very much a niche market. Um, and my pricing is very flexible, um, can be customized to pretty much any budget. And we also, we also track our pricing to mainland call centers, contact centers, so you don't pay a paradise tax for a company for service right here in Hawaii. And my staff, 100% local, you know, local service. Um, so we, and that's what I believe in. We should support each other, help each other to, you know, grow and, and make a difference. So you, you have a number of clients in, a, in many industries. How do you, school up your employees to understand each of those separate industries. Right. Um, in a typical call center, all sourced uh, contact center, support center uh, model, you have uh, different variations how you can support. Uh, we've, uh, for example, have certain clients that has dedicated uh, support staff. So essentially, almost like a employee services, where we staff all the employees, but they, we do all the work for them too. And that's one model. That's our dedicated agent model. We also do a shared agent model, where basically a uh, number of agents are cross-trained to provide um, services to multiple clients. And one way we do this uh, is uh, typically it's called the train the trainer method. So a new client comes on, we will sign a dedicated uh, liaison project person that handles the account. And that person basically, or multiple people depending on the size of the account, um, gets in contact with our client just like if a business wants to hire their own people, you gotta train it, right? That same process. And then we rely on um, different forms of uh, follow-ups, and we don't ever consider ourselves be a separate entity, even though we're separate. We, we integrate so much seamlessly with our clients. It's, we call it extension of their business, you know, even though we might be somewhere else because there's so much communication that happens daily. Um, we, like, for example, for one of our clients that has a, a charter boat tour in, in Maui, well, we don't just work with their uh, owners, we work with their uh, office staff for changes and so forth. We work with the captain for uh, you know, on things like, oh, if there's delays or there's weather-related cancellations, we would talk to the clients directly. Um, we even work with the uh, marketing staff to put on stuff on their website. We work with um, even the caterer on the food orders. 
So essentially, what I'm getting at is, as a business, imagine you have a, basically a whole staff of people at TC Kakua that takes over all your customer interaction, your virtual support staff, um, office staff, even as simple as a receptionist, you know, office manager. And so is this um, in-person interaction, or do you use technology to drive right. that? Very good point. Well, we are a call center, not really that sexy of a model, I guess, but uh, it's a support center. And um, we started, I started actually bringing the first multi-mode customer contact technology in Hawaii when I first started. That's the old system we're using. When I say multi-mode, um, it means that when people normally think about call centers, you're thinking about telephone. Well, that's majority of the interaction, right? Um, we obviously have that, but there's also email, and you guys all know about live chat, and there's also web co-browsing where you can go to some support site or some site, and somebody can actually drive your search engine. It's kind of freaky, but it's, it's, uh, it's when somebody takes control of your, you know, if right. you call Apple, for example, right. they do that. So we use all these forms of communication um, and to support whatever needs of our clients, email, chat. Uh, we have a very awesome uh, state-of-art phone technology. Our technology is state-of-art. We have dedicated fiber internet access. We have separate voice and data lines, uh, SIP trunks, and it, it, everything is redundant and co-location stored in multiple locations, so everything's very safe. I'm sure there are a number of businesses that definitely could use that support so that they can push that out and focus on core business. Exactly. Um, why don't you tell our viewers how they can find you? Absolutely. Uh, we're actually redoing our website right now as we speak, but you can go to tckukua.com, and that's T as in Tom, C as in Charlie, K-O-K-U-A.com. And feel free to call us, 808-270-8700. Uh, Fantastic. Max, it was such a pleasure having you on the show today. Please keep us up to date on all your changes and what you're doing. And of course, we're going to follow you with all these um, accolades that you <laughs> that you amass. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing with us today and making the flight over. Oh, and, absolutely. Um, braving the traffic, braving the Honolulu traffic. <laughs> it's all good. Thanks for having me, Aileen. Oh, uh, it was it was our pleasure. Uh, Business in Hawaii airs every Thursday at 2 o'clock. If you're interested in joining us and being a guest on the show, please email your information to shows at thinktechhawaii.com. We are out of time, but we look forward to seeing you here next week. Huge thank you to Max and to our production staff, um, and we're looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.